Um, let me let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Murat Hachano. You can call me Mr. Murat or Murat. It's okay. Uh, actually, I have been in Indonesia for more than four years. Uh, when I was first came to Indonesia, I I study in Surabaya. Actually, it's near to close to uh, Sidoarjo. So I have been in Sidoarjo. I have uh, traveled a lot of places in Indonesia. By the way, I would like to say that I love Indonesian culture because uh, I love traveling. I love learning culture. And it was, um, it was impressive for me, for my life. So, um, okay, let's start. Uh, oh, by the way, I, I, I'm studying in uh, Sumarang right now, the state north of Sumarang, and my major is mathematics education. Okay. So if you have any question later, you can ask me. But before that, let's start our topic. Today's topic is Turkmenistan. As I said, I'm from Turkmenistan. And let's uh, look at the culture, language, and the other things of uh, Turkmenistan. So first of all, uh, guys, as you can see here, um, Turkmenistan is in uh, Central Asia, located in Central Asia, as you can see, uh, the red one. And uh, here's Indonesia. Indonesia is Southern East Asia, but Turkmenistan is Central Asia. So it's a little bit far from uh, Turk, uh, Indonesia. If you want to go to Indonesia, you have to go to the Thailand, transit Thailand. After Thailand, you, you go to Indonesia. Okay, let's look at closer to Turkmenistan. So Turkmenistan, as you can see, uh, is bordered by Iran, Iran, Afghanistan, uh, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, and Caspian Sea at the west. Uh, in, in the south, the, here's Iran. Uh, so this is Afghanistan. The north side is Uzbekistan, as you can see. And um, northwest, is Kazakhstan. Okay, uh, after this, let's look at the, let me see the uh, province of Turkmenistan. So how many provinces in uh, Turkmenistan is, that's five provinces. As you can see here, Balkan, Dashos, Lebab, Mari, Akhal. Actually, I'm from this place, Lebab province. So uh, Ashgabat is a capital city. Uh, we will talk about it uh, after this. So as you can see, five provinces. Uh, and then let's continue to what is the flag of an emblem of Turkmenistan. The flag is green color by green color, as you can see here. And here's the stars, five stars and one moon. And this means is peaceful, peacefulness. And then this, by the way, uh, in schools, we have been taught uh, in Russian language and English language. So I can speak Russian a little bit, reading, writing, so, and in English too. By the way, um, uh, in Indonesia, I think Indonesia is multicultural country, right? There is a lot of um, language in here, especially in Java, which language do you talk? Java. Java? 
Java. Which language? Java. Java language. Okay, wow, very amazing. And even Java language has different accent, right? For example, when I yeah. stay in Samara, they talk a little bit different from Surabaya, I think, right? Yeah, yeah there yeah. is a little bit difference. And it that means that means uh, have more language you in which maybe I, I can say some word. Uh for example, how are you? Pierre <laughs> Abigra. <laughs> that I, I can speak a little bit uh, Japanese language. I learn from my friends here and I like to learn new language. By the way, I can I can speak in Turkmen language, Indonesian language, English language, Russian, Turkish language, and a little bit Japanese language. So, um, uh it's very uh important i think to learn new languages like english language for example it's very important to learn uh in this hour nowadays because uh if you go outside the any other country uh the at least at least if you speak english you can it makes more easy to it, it it makes uh, it makes it easier to communicate with other people. So you are doing a good job, guys, to learning English from this age. I'm proud of you. Okay, so we can continue. Ah, by the way, in Turkmen language, um, I can say some word. For example, for example, how are you? It's um, quite difficult, I think, to spell the accent for if you don't know Turkmen language, but uh, in Turkmen, how are you? It means So after this, okay, let's continue. Ah. Oh, this, this is very, uh, I think, good. Uh, actually, they estimated uh, in 19, uh, 2019, population of Turkmenistan was 5.94 million, which ranks 113 in the world. Actually, this is almost 6 million. This is a very small population uh, in my country. There is a small population. And as you know, guys, uh, how many people in Indonesia, the population of Indonesia, does someone want to tell? How many, what's the population of Indonesia? Population is. Yes. Yeah, how many people live in Indonesia? Uh, I don't know, but I forget. Okay. What? Uh, I... Many. many. 200 million. No. 200. Oh, or yeah. 200, 20. 200, maybe. Maybe, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's almost 250 or 260 million. Imagine, imagine. Uh, under uh, me... million people under. Yeah, yeah. Uh, imagine. Look at the. Uh, I will write it here. Two hundred fifty. Let's say uh, almost two hundred fifty million. And Turkmenistan population is almost six million. So can you see? Can you imagine the differences, the population of uh, Turkmenistan between Indonesia? That's very, uh, uh, actually, uh, in Surabaya, only in Surabaya city is, the population of Surabaya is more than in my country, country's population. So uh, in my country, there is actually, I like one of my favorite foods are, Nasi rendang. 
I think you know that. Nasi rendang. Rendang. Yeah, rendang. Yeah, and there is some some more. Actually, I like all Indonesian food and everything in Indonesian food, especially I like spicy. But when I when I was in Turkmenistan, we don't eat we don't eat spicy in Turkmenistan. We don't we we don't eat sambal or something like that. But when I came here, I love sambal actually. But of course, when I was uh, in Surabaya, like in my first month, first week, it was very hard to eat uh, sambal. But after I get used to, if I eat some food, uh, I don't eat without sambal. It's not really delicious. <laughs> so I like sambal too. So what is the famous food in your site, in maybe Surabaya or or Sidoarjo? Um, I think nas, I think nas goreng, nas goreng. Yeah, nas goreng, nas goreng. Oh. So many people like nasi goreng. Yeah, some people like nasi goreng. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. Actually, I like nasi goreng too. When I was in Surabaya, I always eat nasi goreng. Actually, I like it. Wow. So, uh, there any other foods? Any other different foods? Maybe meatball. Oh, meatball. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> I also like meatball. It's it's like like this, right? The small. Uh, it's like bakso, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. Actually, I think there are the, uh, what you call it? young people like that. Actually, I like on the street, they sell it on the street. And yeah, that, that's delicious, actually. That's like snack, you know? <laughs> okay. Nice. How about telephone? <laughs> How about what? Oh, I, I did it. 